It's the 8th of December. I figured I owed you guys an update video. Um, today we're getting our first real snow of the season. We've gotten uh, less than an inch, but you know, it, it's something. Looking forward to a white Christmas, and I, I think we're going to get it. Um, but I've got three new garage doors to show you. Two you've already seen, but I'm going to make a video of all of them together. So, here's our back door. My dad's business. Next door was my uncle's business. Here we've got a 16 by 10 overhead door. And on the side, a 12 foot wide, 10 foot high overhead door. So let's go in. All right, it's unlocked. Now the story behind this is my uncle used to do window tinting and remote starts, um, aftermarket alarm systems for cars uh, out of here. And his business grew, and you can fit three, maybe four cars in here if you really tried. Um, that's just not enough room for him. So he decided to find a different location, and he moved two blocks down the street, I believe. Um, and now my father is going to expand into here. Uh, the showroom is further up that way, and we're going to... Um, there's a couple offices in here. We're going to knock out and expand the showroom into here. And back here we're going to do shipping and receiving, I believe, and uh, some other things. So now these two operators are essentially mine. Um, yeah, so... Uh, first, we'll run the 12 foot wide, 10 foot high overhead door. Um, I've got a Genie and Telecode receiver, uh, just because I ran out of LiftMaster crap to use. And I had this laying around, so I figured, you know, might as well make it do something. Um, I just re redid all the, uh, release ropes and everything. Back up here to a suitable angle. And open it up. For a commercial opener, that's quiet. We'll go back down. Sorry for the shakiness. All right, now we will run this door. Um, over here, I have installed my Rainer 540 RGD that I got from RGD Man about a year ago. Um, finally putting it to good use because uh, when we get all our crap sorted out next year, um, 2014, spring 2014, this is our project. We're going to get this place up and running and part of our store. But um, there's a hose on the side and a drain in the floor so we can pull our cars in here and wash them. So it's handy in the winter time. I like to wash my cars in the winter um, to keep you know, salt off of them and help prevent them from rusting. It's a very important part of keeping your car clean. Got an 81LM for the other door. Alright, this one's kind of buried in crap, but, you know, what do you do? And it is unlocked. This door has the wrong springs on it. Um, it's heavy halfway from the bottom to halfway up, and from halfway up to all the way open, it's too light. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get the correct springs for this because I can't find a model number or a serial number anywhere on the door. And I've got a feeling that if I put a bathroom scale underneath this thing like you would with a residential door, you'll break the bathroom scale. So we'll see. Um, I might be able to find some model numbers somewhere. Anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's run it open. license plates. Alright, we'll go back down. A little rough.
Alright. Um, now I've got a project coming up with these openers. Um, these things are louder than they have to be. And I say that because the chain on top runs over those metal plates to help suspend the chain in the rail. So the opener doesn't have to have all the weight of the chain on the sprockets. Um, that helps reduce wear and it helps, you know, make it not as heavy as it normally is. Um, but it also creates extra noise because the, there's no there's no moving parts up there. It's just a moving piece hitting a solid piece, so it makes noise. So what I'm going to try and do is rebuild those uh, rail braces and put sprockets on them to try and help quiet it down. Um, as you can see, I mounted my IntelliCode receiver pretty badly just off of one of the case screws. This opener recently got a lot of work done to it. Um, it crapped out and it would only open the door. So it got two new relays. I believe they are triple pull, dub, uh, double throw. Three sets of contacts, each with an open close stop. And brand new sets of limit switches. I had to redo a little bit of the wiring too because, uh, well, something happened and two wires melted so I had to cut some new wires. Sorry you're staring at the ceiling. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, yeah, this one got a lot of work done to it. And, uh, this one might need it. I'm blabbering on, so let's go outside and I'll show you the last door. Now that we actually have snow, I can bear to listen to Christmas carols. This is the 16x7 Clope flush steel door that I showed with the PD300D. I hit a keypad, so I'm not going to show you where it is. And there's my Jeep, and my dad's dart. We'll come inside and close it down. This door needs a little work too, now that my uncle's out of here. Um, well, he's not totally out of this garage, he's still going to use it for a couple little things, but for what he's doing right now, I, he says he's not going to need the garage anytime soon. So, I'm going to pull the motor out of my Jeep and rebuild it because it's got low oil pressure, and uh, at the same time, this needs to be dealt with. Um, that spring bracket's crooked, so the springs are mounted at a funny angle. Um, this drum rubs against that pipe up there and the worst part is when the door comes up on the radius it hits the opener so what I'm gonna do is this clope door um, you know it's it's nice because they give you multiple points of adjustment here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the spring system and remove um, the upper tracks temporarily and what I'm gonna do is cut the tracks right about there and mount the tracks with the bottom holes where they are now. I'm just going to cut this part off, then I'm going to cut this part on the radius off, and then I'm going to take these two mounting holes and mount them here. So essentially it'll drop the whole front of the tracks down about one and a half to two inches, which will give the door enough clearance to clear the rail because the opener is mounted all the way up to the roof. So I'm um, going to do that on both sides, reinstall the springs, fix that bracket. And yeah, I've got a lot of projects uh, projects to do uh, lately. So we'll see when this gets done. It's probably going to get pushed off to the summer. But yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and um, we'll see you later. Come on, shut off.